Welcome back to Infinite Infotainment. Are you finding it harder than ever to shed that stubborn belly fat, especially after hitting 40? You're not alone. For so many of us, that extra weight around the middle isn't just a cosmetic concern, it's a constant source of frustration and anxiety. But today, I'm here to share some powerful secrets with you. Secrets that have helped countless others finally break free from the cycle of belly fat, and the best part? You won't need to resort to some crazy fad diet. Stick with me until the end because I'll also reveal an unexpected natural sugar that might just be the missing piece in your fat loss puzzle. Yes, you heard that right. A sugar that could help you lose belly fat. And I'll cover the science behind it too, so don't go anywhere. Let's start by understanding what we're really dealing with here. Belly fat isn't just about looking good in your genes, it's about your health. This type of fat, known as visceral adipose tissue, isn't just hanging around your waistline. It's wrapped around your organs, silently affecting your body in ways you might not even realize. And it's deeply connected to a condition called insulin resistance. Now you might be wondering, which came first, the belly fat or the insulin resistance? It's a bit like the chicken and the egg, a vicious cycle where one fuels the other. When you're insulin resistant, your body starts storing more fat around your organs. And as that fat builds up, it sends out signals, like little messengers that make you even more insulin resistant. It's a downward spiral that can feel impossible to escape, so, how do we break the cycle? The first strategy is simple but powerful, eat like you already have diabetes. I know, that sounds intense. But think of it this way, diabetes doesn't develop overnight, it's often 10 years in the making and belly fat is one of the first signs that you're on that path. So, why not course correct now before it's too late? Imagine you're the Titanic and you see the tip of an iceberg in the distance. Do you change course or do you keep sailing straight ahead knowing disaster is imminent? Trust me, you don't want to hit that iceberg. Take control now and steer your health in a new direction. One of the most eye-opening things you can do is monitor your blood sugar levels in real time. You don't need to wait for a diagnosis to take action. This is where a continuous glucose monitor, or CGM, comes in. Imagine seeing exactly how the food you eat affects your blood sugar minute by minute. It's like having a window into your body's inner workings, data that's specific to you, not some generic chart. If a CGM feels like too much of an investment, there's another option. You can pick up a blood sugar monitor from a store like Walmart. It's simple, just a small prick of the finger a few times a day, and you'll start to see patterns emerge. Combine this with a food log, and you'll gain insights that can change the way you eat forever. But maybe you're not ready for that level of commitment. That's okay. There's still a way to make a big impact by following a low-glycemic, low-carb Mediterranean diet. It's a tried-and-true method that can start moving the needle in the right direction. Fasting Strategies Another powerful tool in the fight against belly fat is fasting. But I'm not talking about extreme, all-or-nothing fasting. I'm talking about a scientifically backed approach called the fasting mimicking diet. This method, born out of groundbreaking research on longevity, allows you to get the benefits of fasting without feeling like you're starving. Here's how it works. For five days you eat just enough to keep your body from going into full-on stress mode, but not enough to stop it from burning fat. It's like tricking your body into thinking it's fasting, while still enjoying some food. Recent studies have shown that this type of fasting can lead to significant drops in blood sugar, insulin resistance, and yes, belly fat. It's like turning back the biological clock, helping you shed that stubborn weight without the misery of a traditional fast. If you're not into the idea of packaged meals and want something more personalized, there's an alternative. What I like to call the nourishing fast. It's a whole food version of the fasting mimicking diet that's tailored to your needs, tastes, and budget. It's fasting, but with real, nourishing food. Saturated fat and genetics. Now let's talk about saturated fat. This one might surprise you. For some of us, saturated fat isn't just a small indulgence. It's a major contributor to belly fat, and the reason might be hidden in your genes. Certain genetic markers make some people more sensitive to saturated fat, causing them to gain weight around the waistline more quickly than others. It's not just about what you eat, but how your body responds to it. If you have these genetic predispositions, even small amounts of saturated fat can add inches to your waist. The biggest culprits are often the foods you don't see, like the butter used to cook your steak at a restaurant, or the fat hidden in your favorite takeout meal. Even at home, it's easy to overlook sources like dairy, fatty cuts of meat, and yes, even some plant-based fats like coconut. For those with these genetic tendencies, the key is to drastically reduce saturated fat intake, keeping it to less than 10% of your daily calories. And yes, that includes those plant-based sources we often think of as healthy. 
AMPK activation. Next, let's dive into something a bit more scientific but incredibly effective activating AMPK. This enzyme is like the body's fuel gauge. When it senses that energy is running low, it kicks into gear, helping to mobilize fat for fuel. There are some natural ways to activate AMPK, and they're probably more enjoyable than you'd expect. One surprising AMPK activator? Chocolate. Specifically, the polyphenols in cocoa. Not only does chocolate activate AMPK, but the caffeine in it, known as theobromine, also helps turn white fat into brown fat, a type of fat that actually burns calories. But before you go on a chocolate binge, keep in mind that not all chocolate is created equal. It's important to choose chocolate that's free from heavy metals like cadmium, which can be a concern with some products. Look for brands that prioritize quality and safety. Of course, exercise is another powerful way to activate AMPK, but what type of exercise gives you the most bang for your buck? Research shows that high-intensity interval training, or HIIT, and moderate-intensity aerobic exercise are the best for reducing belly fat. Just 30 to 60 minutes three times a week can make a big difference. And if you're looking for something a bit more unconventional, consider cold exposure. Studies have shown that whole-body cryotherapy, sitting in a cold chamber for just three minutes, can significantly reduce belly fat in people with metabolic syndrome. It's a simple, non-invasive way to kickstart your fat loss. Finally, let's talk about GLP-1, a hormone that's getting a lot of attention these days. GLP-1 helps regulate your blood sugar and appetite, making it a powerful tool for weight loss. You might have heard of prescription GLP-1 activators like Ozempic or Wegovy, which are making waves as weight loss drugs, but what if you're not ready for a prescription? There are natural ways to boost GLP-1, and one of them is a sugar called allulose. Yes, you heard that right, a sugar that might actually help you lose belly fat. Early studies on allulose are promising, showing that it can lower blood sugar after meals and activate GLP-1. It's a game changer for those struggling with insulin resistance and belly fat. Other natural GLP-1 boosters include berberine, cinnamon, curcumin, and even certain types of tea. These aren't mainstream yet, but the science is strong, and they could be the key to unlocking your fat loss potential. Don't forget the role of your gut microbiome either. Those trillions of bacteria in your gut thrive on plant fiber and polyphenols. By feeding them what they need, you're not just helping your digestion, you're also supporting your weight loss efforts from the inside out. We often think of diet and exercise as the primary players in weight loss. But there's another critical factor that's often overlooked. Sleep. Yes, sleep. Quality sleep is a game changer when it comes to losing belly fat. And here's why. When you don't get enough sleep, your body goes into a state of stress. This stress triggers the release of cortisol, a hormone that's notorious for encouraging the storage of fat, particularly around your midsection. It's like your body is holding onto energy reserves for dear life just in case. And that means more belly fat. But it's not just about how long you sleep, it's also about the quality of that sleep. Poor sleep quality can disrupt your hormones, including those that regulate hunger and appetite. Ever notice how you crave sugary or high-carb foods after a night of tossing and turning? That's because lack of sleep messes with your hunger hormones, making you more likely to overeat. To optimize your sleep for fat loss, focus on creating a sleep-friendly environment. Keep your room cool, dark, and quiet. Establish a calming bedtime routine to signal to your body that it's time to wind down. And most importantly, try to get a consistent 7-9 to nine hours of sleep each night. Your belly fat will thank you. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to eat on autopilot, grabbing whatever's convenient without really thinking about it. But this mindless eating can sabotage your weight loss efforts, especially when it comes to belly fat. That's where mindful eating comes in. Mindful eating is about slowing down and paying attention to what and how you're eating. It's about listening to your body's hunger and fullness cues and savoring each bite. When you eat mindfully, you're more likely to make healthier food choices and less likely to overeat, which can directly impact your belly fat. Studies have shown that mindful eating can lead to significant weight loss, particularly in the abdominal area. It helps you tune into your body's signals so you stop eating when you're full, not when the plate is empty. It also reduces emotional eating, which is often a response to stress or boredom, rather than true hunger. To practice mindful eating, start by eliminating distractions. Turn off the TV, put away your phone, and focus solely on your meal. Take smaller bites, chew slowly, and really taste your food. 
Notice how it makes you feel, satisfied, energized, or perhaps too full. By reconnecting with your body's natural signals, you'll find that you can manage your weight and reduce that stubborn belly fat more effectively. So there you have it, seven powerful strategies to finally conquer belly fat, especially after 40. From eating like a diabetic to harnessing the power of fasting, from understanding your genes to activating fat-burning enzymes, and even exploring the potential of a natural sugar to aid in weight loss, the power of mindful eating, and the immense benefits of quality sleep, these are the secrets that can help you break free from the frustration of stubborn belly fat. If you found this video helpful, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. What strategy resonated with you the most? And what other health topics would you like to dive into? Your feedback helps us create more content that's tailored to what you need. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.